butterfly in the sky. Oh, I can go twice as high. Take so it turns out you can shoot someone out of the up armored attack choppers. And there's your proof. So that's all you wanted to see? Stop the video now. I'd like to use the rest of this video to talk about the upcoming Battlefield 3 patch. If you've seen this video late, Battlefield 3 patch is already out, and this is a historical document. Think of it like one of those pipes you fill up with baseball cards and news clippings and put in the ground for later discovery. So Battlefield 3 is going to make it so that people can't hover on MAVs anymore and get up to sniper positions like this. Which I take umbrage with. I take umbrage with it. Mmm, I don't like it. I think that the only thing cool about the MAV, in fact, is its ability to hover you up into high areas. I mean, we could take helicopters up here if we wanted to, but then we'd be essentially wasting a minute and a half of the helicopter as we wait for it to spawn, fly it up to this thing, jump out, let it crash, and then it has to respawn for a minute and a half. So that's dumb. Why not just let us use these MAVs to fly up here? It doesn't take anything away from the team, and in general, sniping doesn't really affect the game that much. So who gives a crap? Meantime, the MAV can kill people, and it also has a motion sensor. I mean, come on. If you were starting from scratch, and somebody said, Hey, you've got a first-person shooter game. We've got a piece of equipment that you can fly up onto and then stand on top of buildings. It tells you where people are near you, and you can also fly around it and smash into people and kill them. We're going to patch something on it so it doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> Which one would you pick? I think I'd pick the other two. Seven times, twice on Sunday, before I pick the part where you can fly up on it. So that's that. Don't worry about it, because it's gone, and we're screwed, and it's still going to motion sense and still going to roadkill people. And there's nothing we can do about that. Furthermore, in the patch, they're looking to address the USAS shotgun. Which, as we all know, is the ridiculously overpowered frag grenade firing automatic extended mag shotgun that people use that have no skill and use it to kill people in mass and completely blind them. That is supposed to be getting patched along the lines of that when you equip it with frag rounds, it reduces the fire rate. Well, I've got news for you, DICE. It's not the fire rate that brings people down. When you turn a corner and you're close to a frag round shotgun, it's one shot and you're dead. So even though you have quicker reaction time and you snipe the guy or shoot the guy or assault rifle the guy or submachine him or pistol him first, literally he can wait a second before returning fire and with that stupid thing, shoot you once or twice and you're done though. How about no frag rounds? How about that patch? Huh? And people, we all say that. But in reality, they're never going to delete it because that's one of their most popular setups. And even though all the people who use it are douchebags, and if you took it out, they would find something else, and maybe learn how to play a first-person shooter properly, or just use it as a shotgun without frag rounds, which would be totally fine. But they're never going to delete it because they love it, because it's all about making the game more accessible. And basically, the only people we have to blame are humans. We have to blame each other. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy.